Each species is divided into a number of populations. A population is the organisms of a single species that occupy a certain geographic location. For example, the population of wood bison living in the Hazama region of Alberta. Populations tend to be geographically isolated from other populations of the same species. Because of this geographic isolation, members of the population breed with each other more than they breed with members of other populations, and gene flow between populations is reduced, but it still exists. Some populations are so separated that gene flow between them is impossible. A population that is distributed over a certain area can become split up into two or more populations if a geographical barrier is formed between them. This barrier could be a geological feature that is hard for the species to pass, or it could be an environmental feature that is hard for them to pass. These barriers can grow to a point where it is impossible for members of species to pass between them. There can also be climactic barriers. Since the two populations are separated, individuals of the populations cannot meet and mate. The populations become reproductively isolated and gene flow between them becomes impossible. Then the populations diverge and become increasingly different over time as different mutations occur and proliferate in each population. One population has gene mutations they can pass on to each other but not to the other population, and the other population has different gene mutations that they cannot pass on to the first population. As these mutations accumulate, the two populations become increasingly different and lose the ability to reproduce with each other. This causes them to become different species. Different environmental conditions developing in the two regions where two different populations live would also contribute to them differentiating from each other, because then the two groups would have to adapt to two different environments and would therefore adapt in different ways. Species created in this way could continue differentiating until they become different genera or even different families as well or higher clades. <sighs> It would be worth mentioning that I talked about how single populations can be split up by barriers. Multiple populations that still have gene flow between them can also be separated further by geographical barriers and can also start to speciate because of the lack of gene flow. The process of separation and speciation is called vicariance. An example of a geological barrier causing vicariance would be the Isthmus of Panama. The Pacific and Atlantic Oceans used to be connected when North and South America were separated from each other. There was one sea connecting them, and in that sea there were species of shrimp, fish, and other marine organisms. When North and South America joined together about 3 million years ago, the Isthmus of Panama formed a narrow strip of land between them. All populations of marine species were broken up into two groups, the Atlantic group and the Pacific group. One species of shrimp that was separated into these two groups eventually became two species of shrimp, one on each side of the Isthmus. One species of fish that became separated by the isthmus eventually became two species of fish, and this happened to all the marine species that were separated by the isthmus. This example is brought to you by Fatuma and Kirkpatrick's book, Evolution, 4th edition. Another example of a geological barrier causing vicariance is the cypress trees that are in North America, Eurasia, and South America. The ancestor species of the cypresses used to be found on the supercontinent Pangaea. Pangaea broke up into Laurasia and Gondwana. Some of the cypresses were on the land that would become Laurasia, and therefore them and their descendants went with the land and th eventually formed populations in Laurasia. Some cypresses were on the land that would eventually become Gondwana, so them and their descendants went with the land and formed populations in Gondwana. These populations speciated and eventually became different higher clades as well. One clade of cypresses is found on North America and Eurasia, which used to be Laurasia, and one clade is found on South America, which used to be Gondwana. And this example is also brought to you via that book. Another example of vicariance due to geological barrier is when the Grand Canyon formed 10,000 years ago. There used to be a species of squirrels that lived in the land that now forms the northern rims of the Grand Canyon. Slowly, the canyon formed between them, and since the squirrels could not cross the canyon, they became reproductively isolated. They speciated into two new species, the Kebab squirrel on one side of the canyon and the Albert squirrel on the other. This example is brought to you via the University of Texas's webpage, Macroevolution Species Formation. The last example we are going to look at are a clade of Kripsok circus wingless cockroaches living in the Hengduan Mountains. There are three major clades of cockroaches living there, and they diverged from the northern cockroaches in the Oligocene. They live in forests in the wood of dead trees. They have a common ancestor that was distributed throughout southeastern China. In the Miocene, the Hengduan Mountains formed in the lands where they lived. The mountains had many high ridges where the forests could not grow. Therefore, the populations of cockroaches were fragmented into many pieces, and individuals from different populations could not meet and mate. This led to the formation of many different species in these mountains. This example comes from Yanli et al.'s 2020 research article, Uplift Urban Diversification Revealed by the Historical Biogeography of the Cockroach 
Cryptopsterca scutter, Blattodia cryptopsterca in Eastern Asia. An example of environmental barriers leading to vicariance is in a clade of wingless Cryptopsterca cockroaches in northeastern China, Korea, eastern China, and southeastern China. These cockroaches live in rotting wood from temperate forests. Their ancestors were one species living in the temperate forests of what is now Eastern Asia. But during the Eocene, there was an arid belt separating the north and the south. And in the Oligocene, the uplift of the Himalayas and the King High Tibetan Plateau led to increased differentiation between humid and dry parts. This fragmented the forests that the East Asian Cryptopsterchus cockroaches lived in into two main parts, one north and one south. And since the cockroaches could not disperse across the dry belt in the middle, they eventually became two different species and species further due to other factors. This example is also from Yanli et al.'s 2020 research article. Another example is the proposed hypothesis on the lemurs of Madagascar. Madagascar has many, many lemur species, some that look very different and others that look very similar. A proposed explanation for why so many species arose is vicarians. Over its lifetime, Madagascar experienced many periods of wet climate where forests would cover the whole island. Lemur species would live throughout these forests, but after the wet climate, there would be a period of dry climate. The forests would shrink and could only be found around rivers. This habitat fragmentation would also separate the lemurs from other members of the species because different individuals of a species would be in different forests. This would mean that different populations in different forests would evolve in different ways over time and become new species. This example is brought to you by Ann Yoder's speech at the 2009 Evolution Speaker Series. Not only forest ecosystems can be separated by other e ecosystems, this can happen to any ecosystem. An example of a climactic barrier causing a vicariance comes to us in the example of the warming of Pleistocene temperatures. During the Pleistocene glacial period, species that were adapted to the cold lived further south than they do now. As the climate warmed and glaciers retreated, these southern populations died off, except for populations near cold mountaintops. Since each mountaintop is isolated from other mountaintops by warmer, lower regions, the populations on the mountaintops were distinct and differentiated from the populations on other mountains. This example comes via Fatuma and Kirkpatrick's textbook. The explanation of what vicariance is comes from class lectures.